Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2017 with the Rude Man. And we're back on Corn Belt. And I had a couple of things going on. I was trying to sell some wheat. In between episodes, I was uh, on doing a little bit of work offline. And uh, we got a great demand at... Where is this place? Uh, Good Value Barbecue for potatoes. And of course, we don't have any. <laughs> but I'm still going to sell the wheat. I know it's it's going to the price is going to come down. I know it is, but I need the money. And so I also I found a place uh to sell the um the fuel. So let's dink around with that. I've got um some of the fuel I made and right here uh whatever that tank over there's for, that white tank it isn't for fuel, so I have no idea what you're supposed to sell there. I tried to sell solid stuff there, but it won't take it. Like the sugar beets, I brought some sugar beets over and tried to sell them there. So I don't know what sells in those, but fuel evidently sells in this one. So we're going to sell us some fuel that we have made. And see how much we get out of the fuel. This is a full tank of fuel, 100,000 uh, gallons. I didn't think it'd take that long to sell. But we're getting quite a bit of money out of it. Wow. Fuel sells good. It should. It takes you forever to get it. And it costs you your canola or sunflower seeds. 185000 we got out of one load. So not too bad. Not too bad. Um, moving on, we have the wheat here. I've got my train load behind me. And I'm going to see if this works. So I set up a course. I haven't played the course yet. But I set it up. So let's see what happens. And see if this will work. I want to see... With one truckload, how much the price goes down. Now, that used to be... I knew I knew somebody that used to go in, and you can tell what the next great demand is going to be somehow by going into the game. I don't know. It, it, there's probably a mod that does it. You know, and I'm not averse to doing things that are stretching reality a little bit but I don't like to do too much of that so I think the great demand is just something that happens and you should wait for it but anyway this guy's got to go to town which isn't that far away uh, he's only going to where well you see where the barbecue is blinking down there Right below that is Denton Bakery. That's where he's going. I didn't notice his uh, four-way flashers were going. Well, they were. Oh, maybe not. All right, let's get, uh, let's see, what else were we doing here? I know I was doing some other things. Um, yeah, I was taking soybeans in to the, uh, for the pig food, so let's do that. i got to bring some more of the refined fuel for my farm. How much do I have in there? Actually, we've got quite a bit in there. Because I did move a tank full.
I think I just missed my turn. We did bring a tank full from that shell tanker over there over to our farm for, uh, for our farm use. I gotta remember there's traffic on that road up there, so that Kenworth might run into town traffic. Eh, maybe we better go check on him. Yeah, because he's got to wheedle through town here. Because the bakery's right up yonder. Right there's the bakery. So he's got to do some fancy driving to get in there. Let's see what we're going to get for wheat. We're at 736 right now, the price. All right, let's see what happens. 736. Come on, wheat. All right, we've got 73,000 for a uh, trailer load. Oh, it's going to do that again. Oh, man. Why does it do that? I don't I don't think it does that. Does that. I don't think it does that if I'm not behind the wheel. Seems to be some kind of an issue. So let's dump it again. The manual way. All right, what's the price doing? See, it's already got down one load and it went down to 615, which is less than it is at Gutenhof, whatever whatever that is, because we couldn't get it to sell there. All right, now it's all the way down to 494. So Maplefield Mill is the next at 507. No, it's not, 624, 651. All right, let's take this guy back. We're going to lose our shirt on this, but I need to sell crop at whatever price. Basically, the only thing it cost me was fuel uh, to do the harvest, so it's not like I seeded that, or did I? I can't recall. Well, we'll send this guy back, get another load. I might just end up just selling it. I need to buy animals. That gave me quite a bit, though. I'm up to almost 700,000. So that, I'm up 400,000 between that load of wheat and that load of fuel. All right, let's go back to him, see if we can get this. Where's the canola go? Uh, canola. Which one of those? That's corn. It's a center one, looks like. Let's see if we can get in here to a trigger. There, 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 stop. We found the sweet spot. Maybe. Maybe. Come on. Does it not go there? Oh, did I find the trigger for... I found the trigger for the corn. Oh, all right. Worked the wrong trigger. There we go. We just can't see it because all the camera angles. All right, now let's see if I can get that other trailer back to that trigger.
I'm gonna have to drop the trailer, aren't I? Got it. Took a little bit of maneuvering, but we got it. Should jump out and see what my crops are doing. Let me get him out of here first. And then, let's see. We're out of regular grain. So, God, I can't see anything. Camera angles the way they are. <clears throat> Okay, let's see. We have barley. We have a little bit of wheat left, but I think I'm going to hang on to that. Let's do a little bit of barley. All right, while we're doing that... Um, Oh, I was doing some logging while I was off. Look, I've cleared quite a bit of this area out. Uh, I'm going to clear this out and reseed it, and then we'll move over to another spot if I keep doing <clears throat> logging and stuff. So let's move this in. Take the straps off. So I've got two loads done. Let's uh, slow this thing down a little bit. Yeah, I got, I've got two cars full. I guess they're full. I tried not to fill them too much because I don't exactly know how much they'll take. But I've got two car loads done there. Let's see. Do I have hold of the truck? Somehow? There. I couldn't make it go up. I don't know what was going on. All right, hang on to that one. Hang on, hang on. There we go. I still haven't figured out. I just can't remember which one goes up, down, sideways, backwards, forward, that kind of thing. Oh, that one is going to hang up, isn't it? Well, that wasn't pretty, but but it worked. All right, now those other logs. Oh boy. Um, let me. Uh oh, what happened? Let me jump in this truck. See if I can't get these things some kind of order. Those are those damn spindly ones.
that are hard to pick up. If I could get them all, kind of. Up oh, there. In one kind of position here. One way or another. Alright. We're turning it into quite the lumber jill. Here. Slow but sure. Oh, shoot. I fell off the rail. Ah, I fell off the stairs. Ah, I fell off again. Jeez. you think those railings would hold you, but they don't. Alright. Up the stairs. Into that thing. And let's get back over. Which is which way? That way. Alright. <clears throat> now... Right there, down. Pick him up with the jaws of life. Not picking up the trailer. The trailer. Let's see if we can. Okay, I need to come up. And then close. Let me let me see. Let me go down a little bit. Close the, oh, did I miss that one? Yeah, I think I did. Dang it. Slow. Did I still miss one? Or two? Oh, man. Well, it looks... No, I lost it. No, come on. Alright, go up. Come over a little. And down. I'm surely going to get the trailer again, aren't I? Yeah, I already did. What am I hitting? I think I'm hitting the trailer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm oh, hitting the trailer. Alright, come up a little bit. Up. I see, I'm missing completely. I either go too high or too low. There doesn't seem to be an in between. Wow, this is terrible. Did I get them all that time? All but one. I got them all but one. That's going to have to be good enough because this is crazy. It's that little spindly looking thing. Too bad it's so sad, I guess. Alright. What happens if I just open it up? <laughs> that. <laughs> oh, gosh. Alright, that's enough of that. Let's, uh... I'll continue until I get a full load, I guess. Where was I... Where did I leave off? With this guy. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So what do I do? What do I do? The price is so bad now. It's lowest price. Um, yeah, it's the lowest price anywhere now. Uh, all right, let's see. Um, now, I could try it again, I guess. Let's stop him. He can go back for some more fuel, I guess. 
Let me see how my fields are doing. Corn is 85%. It is ready, but it's 85%. Do I wait till it's 100%? Why not? Because I'm not ready to harvest yet. So, we'll wait. How about this field? This one's ready. Okay, so this one's ready. Um, tell you what. I got a new piece of equipment that I want to try, which is uh, a corn header. Hopefully I put it in here. I put it in the Australian map. Okay, so for grain, I've got this 90 foot header, that monster. For the corn, I've got this one. It says it's 12 meters, but it's supposed to be 30 meters. So let's get one of those. And then let's get another. And if this works, we'll sell the other corn headers we've got. So we're going to get a couple of combines and get those over here. That's not a combine. All right, let's get this corn header. Let's just drop it right here for now. And then let's go to the store, pick up the other header. Hopefully it folds up. Um, I missed my road, didn't I? I just took off across the field. Just like that. I did it again. What is wrong with me? Right, there's that monster header. I don't know. It's a big one. And I don't know if it folds up or not. Oh my god, there's two of them there. And one on top of the other. So, uh... I think the game only thinks it's 12 meters or something. It's got a beacon right in the middle. That's kind of cool. Well, if it folds up, I don't know how. It folds out. It doesn't fold up. So that's going to be a monster to get through some of these fields does is it even off the ground I guess it is this isn't our field we should we should lease that though what is that sunflower seeds okay this is our field I don't know if it's ready or not I jumped in Field 50, I believe. And we're running out of daylight, so I'm not going to do a full harvest. I just want to see how this is going to work. Let me jump out and see what this field is like. Uh, this one's ready, too. So, we'll do 50 first. These were uh, pointed out to me by somebody w w w that was looking at the Australian map, which is unbelievably big. You think Corn Belt is big. This, that Australian map is huge. This is a 4x four, four uh, map. This Australian one is a 16x. It's just huge. Let's unfold this whooper. 30 meters, it says, huh? Well, let's find out. All right, so we're going to do one of these kind of things, I guess. 
and this is field 50 and it doesn't know how big the it doesn't know is it 24 now wait a minute didn't it say 30 meters it says 30 meters but um, that doesn't look like 30 meters 24.5 so where's the markings at it's not showing it's not showing the markers You know what I mean? Usually it shows where the edges are. Um, that ain't it. 24.5 meters is not 30 meters. But I don't know. What do I know? It's bigger than normal, so that's it's twice the size as normal. Starting location is going to be the uh, north uh, uh, or southwest. Going to be heading north, and let's just do. Uh, I'm going to do two of those, and we're only going to do one piece of equipment on here till I find out how this thing works. That feels not that big anyway, so. All right, 24.5 it says. Whoops, times two, it would be. All right, let's see how this thing works. Doesn't seem to slow the combine down any. Well, it seems to be 24.5 and not 30. So, there you go. Which is fine. It's still a monster. And then, let's see. Uh, what was I doing to pick this stuff up? Was I just using the trucks, or did I have... I didn't have, uh... What? Come these aren't set up? I think I was just using these, wasn't I? Where's the other one? Oh, it's just un It's here all along. It's just underneath the tree. So, alright, fine, fine, fine. Let's see, we were doing a combine course, and let's see, truck to farm silo, truck to farm silo, truck field 50, truck to farm silo, well, which one is which? Let's go with that one. What else am I doing here? Well, it seemed to take the corner pretty good. So, it's doing a bang up job so far. Can you imagine a couple of these on this field be done in no time? This new version of course play I've got, it's 5.2 uh, ought, ought, ought 24 development uh, developers uh, version. It has now the ability to, that you can automatically set more than one combine on a field, and it really does a, a, a really good job. I just tried it on uh, the Australian map on field 17. Worked like a dream. So we'll look at that later when we get into a bigger field like 35. 
on 35 I'll probably have at least three maybe four combines going with these great big uh, headers like this and that truck better get out the road isn't gonna do it is it where are you going buddy look one trip around the field and we've already got over 80,000 tons of corn with this header because it's so wide now when I got this header it didn't go this fast I had to remod it so I've remodded it to do to do 24 miles an hour and uh, again if you're a patron uh, I do have this header and the uh, big one that's in for the grain they are in the OneDrive if you're interested you can download them if you're a patron the uh, patrons have the ability to uh, download any mod that I've got and a lot of the mods I have I have remodded like this one uh, to go a little bit faster or a combine to maybe hold a little bit more fruit or a truck to maybe hold a little bit more fruit almost every one of my mods I've modded in some form uh, to my to suit my own needs and if you want any of my mods I've got over 200 mods in that thing pretty sure uh, if you want any one of my mods all you have to do is become a patron and I've made it easy because I'm not trying to make a lot of money uh, I'm just trying to recoup some of the costs I have and and the time and the equipment and stuff so I made it easy. If you want to donate and be a patron and donate, uh, you know, ten dollars or five dollars or twenty dollars or twenty-five dollars, you can do so. But I've also made it so you can uh, become a patron for one dollar, and any patron, one dollar or fifty dollars, uh, has access to the OneDrive and all of my mods. So. And I, I, I appreciate those of you that that really enjoy my videos and want to help me um, keep making them and donate you know more than a dollar but um, I didn't want to make it too difficult I know there's a lot of people out there trying to get uh, people to become their patrons and uh, and I appreciate that I know what they're going through so anyway if you want any of my mods that's how you get them and I did that specifically because of all the mods that I get and all of them that get updated all the time, it was taking me hours a week to keep up with all the links and all this. Because somebody would say, where'd you get that mod? Can you give us a link? Uh-oh, that might be an issue. And I just couldn't keep up with it. Every time somebody say, "Where'd you get the, where'd you get that combine?" Well, I'd give them the link, and they'd say, "Well, it doesn't work." So I'd end up spending hours and hours of time. That's gonna be a problem right there. Holy smokes! All right, never thought about that. So I was spending more money keeping up with all the mod links and making sure they weren't broken or something changed uh, about the time that somebody wanted a mod that I had because they liked what it did. Uh, it, it it would change. It would go to a different mod page or or they would change the mod some way or you know and then it wasn't the one I was using. So that's why I decided, okay, tell you what, I'll just keep my mods up to date, and if you want them, you can get them. Uh, but see, that still takes me time to do, and it costs me because uh, there's, so, there's so many of them, I have to pay Microsoft uh, for a OneDrive. You get, you get so, many, so uh, large a drive for free, but I've already used more than I was allotted, so I have to pay them a monthly fee to keep my OneDrive going. No problem. I don't mind doing it, but 
that's why I'm charging a dollar at least. If you want to donate, that's great. I love that. Anyway, enough of that. So, slight glitch in the uh, in the mod. You have to stop it and raise those things for the truck to be able to get to you. Small price to pay, I suppose. All right, what else we got going? I didn't do any grass this episode. That's fine. All right, I was going to take this to that place that we're always, you know, I, I'm having trouble with because it says that it takes potatoes and wheat and all that kind of stuff, but I don't know how it does that because there's no place to do that. Oh, did I just drive right through that tree? That was cool. Must be balsa wood. So I'm going to head back to town here. And see if I can't figure out what's going on with that sell point that doesn't seem to sell anything. Now I did find it, uh, that it, it, you can sell fuel there because they're they're tanks I'm gonna take a shortcut through this field Right, this is the spot in... Is that a rainbow? Oh, maybe not, but it sure looked like it. Okay, this is the pop spot in question. So, this one right here. Let me put the marker on it. Supposedly, you can sell everything here. Supposedly. And there it is, right there. It says, that's the sell point. And if you look, there is a trigger right there. See that yellow box? That's a, that's a trigger. A cell point trigger. A trigger at the very least. Okay, so I'm going to go into that trigger with this trailer. Let me flip to the front trailer. And you notice in the bottom right-hand corner, I've got the um, icon that popped up that said, I'm within a trigger. Wheat is not accepted here. Okay, <laughs> what? That's what I was talking about. And I was selling potatoes at the time. And I thought, well, maybe the map is just messed up. And that marker was supposed to be over there where you sell all of the the crops. You see the big pile of crops there. Maybe that's it. Maybe the map was just messed up. And that sell point, that green sell point there, was supposed to be over there. Well, it isn't supposed to be over there. And... Let me turn those off. So I don't know what to think. I just don't know what to think. I, it, it, I was curious in the first place as to why they would have a tank set up for potatoes. That didn't make any sense. So it's just really confusing. I have no idea what's going on there. And there isn't another trigger. I thought maybe there was another trigger around it. Uh, but there isn't. There's no other trigger here except for over there where the truck's at that's selling the fuel. And that clearly says petrol on it. This whole place looks like a petrol factory. So, I don't know. I don't know. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell my, uh, my wheat. I'm just going to sell it and be gosh by gosh for the price I guess there isn't any place I'm gonna go that the price isn't gonna go down as soon as I sell something there so I don't know I think I'll just do it just do it do it do it all right we're gonna do that right there it's wheat and drive the course and I'm just gonna close my eyes and let it sell it 
and just take the money and buy some animals. Uh, bite the bullet, as they say. I, I just don't want to even look. Let me take this guy back. Maybe I can make up the difference in fuel sales. I thought maybe there'd be some cell spots at the service stations for fuel, but there isn't. Some maps there are. I think the Australian map has a, a cell point. Now, I think I might have a fuel cell point, a placeable. I might put them at the gas stations so that I can sell fuel to the gas stations. But I didn't see one here. Again, there are triggers, but those boxes are for the trailer I'm driving. And those are for the cars. There's no, there's no cell triggers here, so you can't sell fuel here. That's uh, too bad. That'd be kind of nice. Well, let's head back to the refinery. We're losing. Look at that beautiful sunset. This is going to be a, a beautiful sunset. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I like that time of day. I like this type of day. Uh, I, I'm not a nighttime person. After dark, I don't like after dark much. Late in the evening when everybody's, you know, kind of called it an evening and you're sitting there all alone that's quiet and my mind starts thinking about things it shouldn't you know like mortality and getting older and losing family and you know what's life all about i'm kind of crap and i can't sleep i don't like that time of night being up late some people do some people sit up till one two three in the morning just sitting there doing whatever people do at one two three in the morning I don't like it, and I'm not a morning person either. So, you know, a lot of people will get up and the sun will be coming up and they're just, oh my God, it's the best time of day, give me a cup of coffee, let me just sit and watch it and enjoy it. I, I am not awake yet. I just, you know, it takes me a little while to get going in the morning. <clears throat> so that's not my good time of day, but just right about now, when there's a sunset and the day's over, your work day's over, you're heading home, you're you're waiting, you know, to get home, have a decent meal, relax, visit with your family, that kind of thing. Um, I do enjoy that. Take a deep sigh. The work day's over. And with that, I think I'm going to just drive off into the sunset call it an episode. Hope you had fun. If you did, give it a like, share it with a friend, subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you back on Corn Belt in the next episode. In the meantime, happy farming.